Well, hello there and Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. What a great joy and honor, great privilege it is to be with you yet one more time. Welcome to Harvest Conversations. My name is Brian Moshigadi. It's so good to be with you yet one more time. Thank you for hanging with us, riding with us to this very end. Manze, it's been so great doing this to the glory of God. Remember, all we exist to do, all we desire, or at least hope or pray to do here at the Harvest Conversations is to have real, authentic conversations that have to do with the believer's life, especially the youthful believer, um, but just generally every believer. So we look to get into as many topics as we can. We're going to go through books of the Bible and study together so that we can be able to stand alone knowing what the Word of God says. We look to also get into topics and things that surround us in our everyday lives. And so in this season, we're talking about relationships. We already have started and if you've been following us for a while, you know that some good stuff is on the way. Some good stuff is on the way. As has been our tradition, please reach out to somebody. Yeah? Let them know that this is on. Let them know that today we have another popping couple in the house. We're about to talk. To talk. It's about to get, it's about to get real. <laughs> it's about to get real amazing. Yeah. Uh, so please share this link with as many people as you can. Let them know that we're on. We're about to have an amazing, amazing time in this place in the name of Jesus, all right? So in the house, or on set with me, I have um, wonderful people, a beautiful, beautiful couple. They're young, and they love Jesus passionately. They also serve him as well. And I want to allow them the opportunity, the opportunity to introduce themselves, all right? They're going to let us know their names, um, how they relate to each other, you know, you know. Yeah, and then we're going to pick it from there. Karibuni sana, guys. I think I want Thank to start you. from the gentleman in the middle. I go by the name Joe. Acha nseme tu kweli. Joseph Mwangi Ndirango. Joe tu ni ambwembo tu ni huku kwa streets. But yeah. Uh, Joe, watu wengine wanaita the singer and we are the singers. Yeah. And uh, we are young, very young in marriage. But tuko na experience. <laughs> yes. And we love God. Above everything else we love God. We love ministry, we love serving. And we love each other. Yeah, and this pretty lady here is my wife. Hi guys, uh, my name is Frida Kuria Mwangi. I'm still getting used to being called Frida Mwangi, so please bear with me if I don't introduce myself as Frida Mwangi yet. But yeah, this amazing gentleman here is my husband. Yes, we've been married for five months. Yeah. And it's been beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We love God, we serve, and he's the essence of our marriage. And we are grateful to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mwangi. It's so good to have these guys on set. Um, thank you for you, yes. We, d we didn't have to convince them so hard, like just, you know, labor in convincing <laughs> them. So thank you for, for saying yes to coming on set. All right. Um, so by now, if you still have not done that, please introduce a couple of people. Let them know that we're about to go on with the singers. Uh, just talking about relationships. Remember, that's the theme we're handling uh, in this season, relationships. So we're going to be looking at all kinds of relationships. But for these two, we're going to be looking at the nature of their relationship to one another. And so we want to pick it from where did it all start? How did you guys meet? In most stories, we usually have the... Uh, guys' version of the story and the ladies' version of the story. Uh, and we're interested in listening to all of them. All of them. Even if there's like another cousin's <laughs> version, if they can call in and let us know how they met. So we want to know, how did you guys meet? Let me start. So, we met in 2016. And 2015. 2015, September. September. So my, my cousin comes. I was in K-Crew serving. Then my cousin calls me and tells me, I have a birthday party. She's called Terry. I have a birthday party. Na kuna cake. Na I've invited some of my friends. So uh, I called my brother and then we went with him. Kufika apo. So there were different, different ladies. And then my bro tells me, it's a cute lady. Hey. <laughs> so me, I had noticed her, but so siku wa nimeza kufikiria in that line, you know. And then, so I had carried my, my acoustic guitar. I had planned to sing for my cousin a uh, birthday song. So, I a guitar, and then I, I started tuning it. And then Frida turns, I can you, Lisa, you play the acoustic guitar. 
so basically she unajua aliona aliona mzito hapo akaona umsi ameweza so so akaniuliza kama mimi play acoustic guitar akamwambia yes i do play the acoustic guitar and then the rest is history well let me stop it at there to skip our story yake kwanza <laughs> frida what what's your version of that story of how you met for the first time oh yeah it's true we met at his cousin's birthday so we were friends with terry the cousin so I, it was her birthday she tells me twende tukakule keki after bible study i had just joined k crew bible study so tukaenda kula keki then pale nona when i was in high school i used to tell god you know those prayers you make when you just i used to tell god eh mimi nataka yule chali nitapata akwe anajua ku play guitar na anaweza imba okay so tuko hapo ni mwana chali ameanza ku tune guitar nilikuwa nime practice kidogo chords kadhaa but so ni kule like, wow so i approached him kwambia hey you play the guitar oh that's so nice i also play but kidogo kidogo nini so we just chilled kidogo tukaongea ongea kidogo kidogo too it wasn't even at anything a suggestive we were just catching up on the instrument itself yeah and that is where we met all right mm. wacha za vyombo mmekumbukwa kwa kweli basi zamu ni yetu sasa okay ni yenu wacha za vyombo thank you so um so who approached the other when you know talking about that story then sasa let me press play again okay. from where i stopped uh-huh. So there's a friend we have a mutual friend called Shiro. So Shiro uh, was a governor okay. Kai Kru kuna watu governors MCAs in charge of small groups. So Shiro alikuwa she's a friend to Frida. So nikamwambia eh hey, Shiro soon sidi namba ya Frida. Akasema okay I'll get back to you. So according to what Frida tells me Shiro alim text kumuliza kama it's okay for her to give the number out. Uh, uh, in like two two days or three days she rock and to me a number and then now you can ask the conversational from there nikimuuliza kama anikumbuka you know kumbe msichana alikuwa anifikiria kwa kweli bas it wasn't a, like siku struggle kuji kuji introduce tena unajua yeah kiburi ulikuwa unamfikiria frida ukweli well not really but <laughs> But anyway, I would remember he was playing the guitar so I remembered him but yet he nilikuwa namfikiria like You remember the guitar? Yes, and sure. and the guy playing the guitar. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um isn't it to the new, you know, Sweet Church, Sweet Church. Okay, so um so uh, he's reached out to you, you've reached out to her, you've asked her the questions. Um uh, whether ana kumbuka nini nini mnaongea. Uh how long did it take you for you to make the move since that first contact on phone i think i would say from the first time that i saw her and then i related with her for like a few a few weeks few months like two months i knew she's the one i wanted to pursue but funny thing is when i posed the question of whether we could be something akasema yo i was alsema we cannot date but we are here now <laughs> but god yeah so i would want her to 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 tell you guys what really happened and why that no the first time and the yes after some time so before same so we had like a break for like four months four months five months right of, uh, not talking of not talking now do you know any you is rejection after rejection <laughs> no after rejection <laughs> listen after rejection <laughs> I see her post a picture a coast definitely judge pick a picture mm-hmm. you know I judge pick a picture so you call like ah kwa ni kwa kidu ni kama hii machungwa ijaisha by the way this story the way he tells it ni kama bado inakuanga fresh na sijui I want to inspire bring someone bring some much content out there I want to inspire someone mwenye umeambiwa no ah ya yani so mimi na muona coast Enye tu nikajijazia tu like enye iwezi. Au ude makona tu mtu nyame weza. Nampeleka di coast bro. Mimi nimesota. Eni tunajua tukiwa campus tu vile. So after like four months she texted me. 
Mama text ya Frida. Akiniuliza, akaniuliza hi how have you been? Uh, so kwa hii space I had tried to move on. I'd even tried it with another lady and then I I I got to make sense. So nikuwa ina jako this time. And then akani text, akaniuliza hi Jo. Did you move on from what we kind of had? Nikuwa like hata kuna kitu tuli have yani and then I told her I did but now I'm, a, I'm single I'm wow I'm single too <laughs> <laughs> is a yes or no answer <laughs> yes so <laughs> yeah and the rest is history yeah Frida <laughs> you have one opportunity okay. to clear the air <laughs> once and for all <laughs> What was happening in that space? In that space, I liked him. But uh, in that space, I was, I was trying to wonder which are the campus. Okay, me the guys I had dated before, ni watu walikuwa, washamaliza shule, watu wako, wako stable. <laughs> wako stable. So, Nilikuwa nimezoea ka soft life kidogo. So I'm trying to think, okay, mchali kidogo, sitaweza. Like, ile life already nishaji kia standard, hawezi fika. Plus, I was also trying to deal with another situation shift that I was trying to get out of. Na nikama tuyo out of ilienda kuishi ya coast out of. So, um, I didn't want to say yes and bado huku inje ni kona mtu waneza ni sustain yetu wako wapo ni kama you get so this other side eh, it didn't work out I was trying to get out of it it was a toxic relationship so after ni metoka narudi tena BS ni kamwaneo siku ame lead hapo ni like yo, this, this is it like he's just the one I had just also given my life to Christ so I wanted something solid, something that would last. So I thought, this, yeah, yeah. So that's why I asked him later, come on, you move on. Do you want come up hopes? But anyway, when he said, Haja, move on, Nilikwa, like, yes, we are taking the opportunity and grabbing it. Yeah, and when he said no, we started it off, not from where we left, but now tried to work things out. Yes. All right. Um, so you guys started off now in the place of, um, started a relationship. Yes. Uh, how, how, was that, how was that period, the, the relating period? How long did, did you guys go out? Five years. Five years before getting married? Yes. All right. So um, let, us, let us in Kidogo on that. How was, the, how was the courtship period for you guys? Being young, um, but also being believers and serving in the different spaces that you found yourselves in. How was that courtship um, period in that five year period? All right. The five years were really long, honestly, in terms of waiting. It's very easy for us to go and quench it. But I think surrounding ourselves with people who know God and who hawa kufichi, wakiwe na inyapa, hapa kuna kitu munafanya inye mkiendele hivi mtaanguka, like they will tell you to, to your face. Kwambi, it's not right. And also we had, uh, like my, my, my elder brothers, who were doing it the right way. Also we had our parents. Personally, Musema, the reason why I believed in marriage because I've seen it work. And kuna, kuna time tu nilipata tu, my mama and dad wako tu kwa, kwa, kwa sitting room, nikiwa inje, ninasikia, kuna argument, but nikingia, ah, hey my son, <laughs> like smiles natokia tu hivi. But since, okay, since siku wa mdogo, like inajua, kwa hapa kulikuwa naka fight. So like they would do anything possible, not to let the children know that they, they had a fight, just to make it work. 
and so the, the dating period aside the fact that I I was not financially stable and I had no job na yako mezoea watu wako na job watu wanaweza mtumia hata 5k to any time 10k pay the, pay her rent I, the first times that I alinembia about her previous relationships nili feel pressure ngo like eh, to be honest akisije hapa kama ninaweza but she made a decision to to love me just as i was with all the, <laughs> the with all the kusota sota <laughs> all the weaknesses and also i had i had uh, to move past a struggle i had nilikuwa na kauseleb msi nilikuwa na peno na madem wengi so nilikuwa na kauseleb flani and so focusing on one person nilikuwa like ai mtu mmoja yani mtu mmoja yani cha ukweli tu mtu mmoja bado ulikuwa ndugu katika bwana kabisa bro kwa tesa kwa hivi na astro ya java kwa kunywa hivi ta bomb but yeah so I, i i had to to make the concrete decision to move past that <laughs> to move past that and so what i appreciate most is like she held me she knew i had that struggle and she had to be patient and like walk with me na kuniambia tu like straight to the face this is not right and yeah i thank god for her because of because of her we are here i would say that wow yeah um frida i want to um include you on that one and just ask you to speak about some of the challenges of that courtship period um especially seeing as uh you know as joseph has already <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> he was um dealing in that season what was that like what how speak to that kind of challenge and maybe any other that might have been there a main, a main challenge what you'd call a main challenge or main challenges in that season lakini kabla tuendelee naweza pitiwa kasaviet hivi kwa sababu anyway um i think the first three years were the toughest because Uh, I'm also from that past life so trying to become better and learning so many things being in a godly relationship just trying to do it right was quite something the first three years were hard because kuna vitu hapendi bado kuna tu vitu ninarudi kidogo you know when you when you give your life to Christ it's not like a one day change it happens gradually there are things that you have to undo and learn and sometimes you'd find ninarudi nyuma kidogo ananishikilia pia yeye the way he's saying that i held him he also held me and kwanza hiyo story ya useleb mimi nilikuwa nasema siwezi i can't because at a church uliko unapata tu tumetoka service ametoka maybe ku lead na dem tu atakuja hapo mambi umeimba vizuri unakaa vizuri na niko hapo niko like unioni <laughs> you're not seeing me so it was a lot but i remember pastor Mary sent kuna time aliniita tuka have a conversation and she asked me are you ready to become a pastor's wife because if you're looking to get married this is the direction that joe is most likely to go and he yo ilinipeleka ilinipeleka kwa baba yetu mara mingi sana because nilikuwa like god if if this is where you want me to be i need you to give me the grace you know and the patience because this guy can sing he can play the instrument he's good like in almost everything so you can imagine the attention that attracted but as hard as it was i would say god held me through like alinipatia tu grace ya kila siku ya ku forgive more because mimi mimi ni mtu mwenye tukikasirika tuna sisi unajua unamkangaleo unakuwa na meeting na yourselves unajiuliza leo mood ni gani <laughs> so i think to god alinipatia grace ya ku forgive na ku na kukuwa hapo like being the friend that he needed because i think in that period we were more of friends yes wow 
something very interesting that Fred has mentioned um, about, uh, uh, first of all, I should have mentioned in his introduction that Joseph is a pastor. <laughs> um, yes, and he also leads worship, as does Frida as well. Uh, they lead worship, they uh, sing, and, um, you know, the Lord is using them to do a great thing, you know, writing songs and um, putting out a fresh new sound even in this generation, even as it comes to love, like just love for one another. The, uh, I, I believe, I personally believe there's a difference between a love song that's written by a believer and a love song that's written by an unbeliever because a believer is getting it right from the source of love that is God. So uh, that's a thing they're doing, and I want to say it here publicly. We really appreciate it, and we bless the Lord for you. More grace. Thank you. milango ya kuandika nyimbo mpya mpya. Amen. Nyimbo mpya. Moto moto. Na wewe sasa ukisikia kuna nyimbo zimetolewa na watu wa umini. Si unendo unatafuta nyimbo kama hizo. Apana kuenda kuimbia mwenza kuko na umeokuwa kuna mbia nyimbo za ile service ingine. <laughs> ile service ya shetani. Anyway, uh, something that Frida has mentioned is, um, you know, for somebody who is out there like Joseph and, you know, he's out there leading and doing all these things and, you know, I mean, now even Frida is doing those things out there. She's also leading worship. But at that time it was Joseph. And then there's, you know, these people who are just coming, it could be the ladies or the guys, depending on who, who you are telling them, hey, you know, you... There's those ones who know that you're in a relationship. You're actually right there. But still, there's this notion that I had recently. It is so laughable, but apparently it's a thing. Ati, that so long as you're not married, it's still, it's still, it's still a fair game. <laughs> and I think that's... I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's not a good thing. It's not a believer thing. I'm a, if somebody has made up their mind to be somebody else... Si Mwachetu. <laughs> Wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. I'm on Amnagani. Don't be there saying like, ah, I see even people in football, they score and there's a goalkeeper. Yeah. Eh? Just don't. <laughs> don't be those people. Don't be those people. Words to the wise. Anyway, um, those are challenges. But I know that in those five years, it wasn't all doom and gloom. That's why you guys made it, uh, to, decided to get into marriage. What are some of your highlights of your five-year um, relationship? First of all, when you guys were starting out in the five years, Mulikuwa Mepanga itakuwa five years? Apana. Mli, mli jipata tu muna songa tu. <laughs> tuna songa tu. Tuna longevity, muna songa tu. Alafu mkianza, mlikuwa mpa, yote minyu likuwa na muuliza na yoki mkubali. Izo mskuza kwanza kwanza, mlikuwa mna jua, mlikuwa mmedecide, hapa ni marriage. Kenye bishop anasemanga gone kana gone. <laughs> it, is, it must be by hook or by crook or by both. Um, or is that something that became clear as along the way? Let me say my side. I had purposed not to be in any other relationship. Like, But also, I had insecurities. I don't know if I was going to be a bro. Eh? My... Hey, hey. Yani. So, I was going to be a bro. I was going to be a bro. But with time, like, she had the passion to, to be better. She had the passion to, to stay there. And now, create a new story from what she had before. So I think you will need an assurance that I think we could get to marriage. And also, kunazile two points in to God, God to speak, and how is it contradict? And once He say that she's the one for me, I I had to put in effort now. Yeah. So what were some of your highlights um, in that season? Uh, I see my best friends, and we do so many things together, like so many things. Kuna siku, hey, kuna siku flani niko shule. Alafu, yote mam mam ilikuwa ni tumie pesa ya ya fee so that I can be able to do exams. And then ilo doa nangozi ya haja kuja. Frida ni alintafte udo. Frida alienda, alienda, siju, siju aliota, after up your pesa, but ilifika. And I'm like, ata tuja wana, yani? I can repair school fees. I can repair school fees. My goodness. So, like, she's done a lot Ooh. in my life. But just let me, let me, give, <laughs> kopo la maji tafadhali. Hmm? Producer wangu, kopo la maji. Let me just tell you. 
akakur maripo ya karo ya shule ni ta karo ya karo ya wow aha proceed yeah and we've done so many things together aside that in music in ministry okay like says pin points there are so many to small small things but we've been best friends that has been the biggest highlight and when una feel kama love in a run out like your best friend ijaisha yeah i think your best friend you make like the main highlight of our work yeah frida yeah i think that's that's our highlight if i would say that because you would find at wakati amenikosea je nasikia tu like nivo na nimetoka najipata tu nikimwambia lakini mbona una like he would even just i remember there's a time we almost ended things like we were at a bad 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 place and he was telling me ata kama basi hatuta date please ni nikaa tu uniambia nge nikikosea niki nashanga then what's the essence like ni kama tu bado tuna date you see so you would still find wisdom, us wisdom wisdom <laughs> <laughs> you would still find us talking vizuri kama mabeshte and slowly unapata inaturudisha back together so the, as just as he has said when love ile kuna kana kama hatupendani ni kama love inaisha ni kama hakuna like your two best ilikuwa inarudi we were able to talk freely express ourselves and that has helped us move wow yeah. friendship guys i think that continues to just be a recurring theme as we talk about relationships i don't think there's a relationship without friendship i think that's what is coming across um from all the people we are talking to including um the singers today that friendship is a sure solid foundation um actually reminds me that this morning um in my devo i read as jesus is speaking to disciples he's saying to them i no longer call you servants i now call you friends it was at that moment that the disciples realized they have received an upgrade yeah because now we are not just doing things to um to see how far can it get us ahead or how many brownie points can we add on with the master it is now we are doing things because we are thinking how are my actions affecting him yeah. so upgrade into friendship so i think for every relationship friendship is really really important if you're with somebody and they are not your friend or you're not friends you either number one, work on work on the friendship or number two, if that friendship is not going to if it's not working okay think on these things let the holy spirit give you the answer all right just before we move into the next question we want to take a short commercial break we want to allow our sponsors to pay us our sponsors you know so we're going to take a really 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 quick break for you to grab your cup of water get a few sips it's getting a bit emotional and then we're going to be right back in a moment We have branded merchandise for the theme of the year 2022, The Great Catch. To order, kindly send your size and the color of your preference to the number on your screen. The t-shirt goes for 700 shillings and the hoodie for 2350 shillings. you had the breaking news <laughs> oh man it's amazing this year the harvest conference comes early in april 2022 i mean in just two months harvest conference is going to be with us but wait there's more actually ian it is happening in just about a month's time why our conference is coming to us from the 3rd of april through to the 8th of april i am so excited and in this year of the great catch we are bringing it back yes we are going to be having boarding delegates as well as day delegates that's right why we are looking forward to the catch this year and let me just tell you something this year we are coming all the way back all those things that we've not had the opportunity to do in about 2 years we would love to do them right this time so what are we going to be doing we're going to be having theme exposition every morning and then we are bringing the harvest conversations live and direct to you in the mid morning sessions talking about real issues that affect the young believer we're also going to be having great workshops in the afternoon talking about things that surround us in our everyday life 
and in the evenings we're going to have a wonderful time of revival in the presence of God. Our activities, our days are power packed and I really don't know why anyone would want to miss this. See you there! I for sure will be there. I'm counting on seeing you there. We continue to remind you to follow us on all our social media platforms. That is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, and podcast for daily updates and encouragement. We have amazing stuff lined up for you. All right, welcome back. It is so good to be with you. Thank you for sticking on with the Harvest Conversations. Uh, my name is Brian Mashikati. We continue today on set. I have the singers, also known as Joe and Frida Mwangi, Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Joe and Frida Mwangi. It's so good to be with them in state. We've had a wonderful first half. We want to just pick it up. So these guys are married. They've been married um, just slightly over half a year now. And um, they serve the Lord together. Uh, they minister together as well. Um, they are also putting that dent in the wall uh, as concerns writing songs and just, you know, just being, being a light to this generation. And we bless the Lord for them. Um, they quoted for about five years before they got married. I'm just giving you a previously on Harvest Conversations. Uh, they quoted for five years and they got married. So right now, if you're just joining us, we are at the point where um, these guys have shared with us their challenges. The challenges that they went through, some of the things they fought, uh, they had to fight uh, in their relationship. Attention from other people, uh, you know, hostile neighboring communities, <laughs> language barrier, um, you know, poor infrastructure because Joseph was doing badly, Correct. Well, badly. Uh, but we've also looked at some of the highlights where, you know, you know um, support from NGOs like Frida, you know, <laughs> releasing funds to Joseph. But they will leave your door when your mother will come through. Yeah, it is well. It is well. All right. Uh, we've also talked about uh, one of their highlights. Their main highlights is their uh, their friendship. Their friendship in their relationship. I think that's that has come through really strongly, actually, as a strong theme. But as we move it along, I want to. I throw a question to them. From what we have already talked about and some of the challenges that they faced while they were going through their courtship period there for the entire five years, and their challenges were many. I imagine what they've given us is just a highlight of those challenges. Uh, these, there were many others. Um, do you think that in our generation, especially for those of us that might be catching us, uh, that our generation has a problem with living too fast? Uh, could that be a problem why uh, relationships just relationships in general, um, whether it's romantic relationships, just friendships, um, you know, even in the family, uh, even marriages now generally uh, going forward. Do you think there's, that could be a problem that we, we live too fast? Um, would, you, would you speak on that? Maybe there's a, a, a need area there. Is there something that we need to address even in the church? Uh, I think, yeah, I guess people are not patient enough and I would just want to, to bring in a picture of Christ and us. And we are not perfect as human beings. But if we, like we're supposed to love our wives as Christ loves the church. And the church is filthy. And we can never even get to, we need to kill a percentage of holiness. Like, when we think we are there, and so I think when, when it comes to patience, if Christ angekona impatience and kona wati anasema anakupea two months, if you if out of home you change anenda, then I think ata atu ni kona machas sa easy because sin is stubborn as human beings and but 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 the funny thing is Christ is always there, always there loving you right. 
it doesn't change him if you sleep around. It doesn't change him if you go and take alcohol or steal or do things that honestly on a human eye then they're not right. It doesn't change his love for you. And since that is who we are supposed to be like, I think if we get to a point where we realize uh, it's not about us anymore. And Lord's Prayer and I say, let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Like, love your God. God is love. You image to heaven. Like, if we, if we draw our love from him, I think issues of patience, issues of divorce, won't be there. Because Kuna Mtuali Ali Ali pose a question. I can't remember. I don't know if it's Bishop or Nikwana watch online. Akauliza, if you're a if you're a pastor and then we eat altar call. And then you see the person who offended you. Ama you see someone who, let's say, killed one of your friends, ama one of your family members. Would you be confident enough or would you go ahead and pray for them to receive Christ? And like we'll a pin drop silence because people are like, I miss Yezi. Like one zata uneza wita to guards or kujom toy. But the funny thing is to kiss to ki to ki refer to the story of the prodigal son, the dad ran to meet the child while he was coming. And that is how much God loves us, that he will run to you utter in all your filth, in all your dirt. So I think this generation to make our influence on na, 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 na the social media and the Western culture to a point like we know divorce is nikitutia kawaida. Breaking up, kitutia kawaida. Like I'll always find someone else. Like there's always some greener pastures somewhere else. Na people, na, na, na many people love in quote soft life. And you don't have to work to, to live your life. Like just by availing yourself to someone who is older than you, who has money, then it's a plus for you. So we have grown to a point where ukiona ukiona huyu boy sana sana kile ni mwana ukiona huyu boy haja fika hiyo point ya anaweza ku sustain without you working you call it quits if you see na sikuzi pia ni mwana pia boys rather men are going that direction where you have these mamas who wanaeka my boy sana so mtu anaona wewe like kama kama hawezi ni satisfy anaona kama kama he won't convince you to sleep with them, then hakuna need, you see. So they prefer just to, to attend it to. And that brings us to a point where we ask ourselves, what is our foundation? Where did we start? Sisi uh, Kianza, we started off and said that it's a godly relationship. Whether or not we've had struggles before, whether or not we are still struggling, that our focus and our main agenda is glorifying God through our relationship. And if we get to a point as youths and start now drawing the love from God and drawing the wisdom from God and not depending on our experience and not depending on what your friend will say, because I'm, I'm so sure kuna watu wenye, let, let's, say, let's say Pastor Brian you are dating and your girlfriend has other girlfriends Wanyanamwambia, ai Pastor Brian awezi please. Anakupeleka ngao wapi? Valentine. Anakupeleka wapi on your birthday? You get. Kuna hiyo influence, kuna hiyo like the immediate friends wana the influence someone to leave another person. Because wana according to them that's not your standard. So if we get to a point where as do mkiamua to like this is us against the world switch off his voices zingine because they really unapata una lose someone who would really make you get to where God wanted you to be but because of your outside influence unapata like you may cut off so our God is merciful na kona grace maybe in his own ways utafika huko but you'd find yourself taking longer you'll find yourself going through a lot of heartbreaks going through a lot of two small small issues then avoid. So if we involve God and 
let him be the center like by center ina maanisha nyinyi ndo mna msurround sio yana wa surround like nyinyi ndo mna msurround i think we would avoid all these stories a mtu anaachwa unaachana because of small small issues that you want to get on that <laughs> I think what I can add on to that is we don't want to put in the work because we want things to just be smooth the same way you are a student you have to work hard for you to pass it's the same thing with marriage ukiingia unajua lazima like you two different people who are coming together so he has his own beliefs i have mine we are now merging so that we can move in one direction but sai kumekuwa na huwezi ni show hata mimi niko na unaona i am i'm earning so hata ukiniacha niko sawa it's not like i'll struggle una get so you don't want to let go of yourself we are selfish you want it's me it's me unafauni treat tv madem anafa ku treat wa hivi but you're not treating him the way maybe he should be treated as a husband or as a human being so you're just looking at yourself so with that unapata unaboeka haraka because your needs are not met and you don't want to communicate effectively for him to understand where you're coming from and for him to understand where you're coming from like we just don't want to put in the work and i think peer here in our contribute sana 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 because you find unasikia nga maybe kitu ilifanya a certain couple to divorce ama wachane it's so small maybe they would have sorted it out but because of pride and mi watu akisikia ti ndio tuna deal nayo hapana una get so i think what you would we would rather focus on more is uh, putting in the work kabisa and involving god to help you then his struggles i think zita reduce yeah wow um such rich insights about um making up your mind and sticking to it and just putting in the work i especially like that idea um putting in the work it yeah. sounds like wow that's it's a lot to do because it is it is a lot it's much easier to cancel somebody with all this cancel culture going around the world it's it's so much easier to just oh you're not fitting into my schedule i cancel you you're not nini cancel you i'm not talking to you again cancel you relationships friendships even family it's something as crazy as now family you're like um my family is nini nini i cancel it now please um we we want to be very cautious as we talk about this we know that it's possible for you to be in a toxic relationship it's possible to be in a toxic setup even family wise that's not what we are talking about we're not saying you shouldn't leave um a toxic space if it's bad if it's abusive and so on and so forth we're just saying you see we have discernment yeah. and wisdom from the holy spirit we have people around us that care for us and if we can see it they can see it too or sometimes we can't see it they can see it on our behalf so that's that's healthy okay but now in the place where you're the only one who is seeing things that you're seeing and ukubali mtu mwingine like you're just like no 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 mr kangi mr kangi what we're is talking about is you know you're you're crossing you're crossing this line me si fanyangu ifo me nobody rubs me off this way me i'm not an agra baby girling you know baby girling <laughs> wow putting in the work yeah. setting your mind to something and doing it man there's still so much more to come we still have quite some ground to cover but you know what we're going to do we can promise you that we're coming back to you uh in a short time a time like this again so we're going to call it quits right now and then we're going to come back and we're going to continue with the singers it's been so great being with you we're going to see you in not so long god bless <laughs>